Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here. This is going to be my quick little video discussing my thoughts on the Legend of the White Dragon trailer, which if you didn't know, is the Power Rangers-esque movie that JDF was working on before his passing that's been in development for quite some time. Um, and it was set to be released this year, but they are now pushing it uh, for some reasons which I'll talk about uh, here at the end. This isn't going to be like a full-on breakdown again, one of those videos where you're like, what does this frame mean? I'm just going to discuss my general thoughts on the trailer, my thoughts on the movie, and how I might be covering it. So to be honest with you guys, I really had no interest in this movie before. You know, kind of like when people recommend me anything outside of Rider and Sentai Toku-wise, it's just I have just no interest. It, you know, for that reason, and also it felt like one of those The Order projects, you know, that the, the cast members that attend the cons do, and I just don't have interest in that whole whole thing. You know, I kind of saw it as like an, a whole, an ego project for the, the, the Power Rangers actors. I just really didn't have an interest in it. But then, you know, unfortunately, uh, JDF passed. And it seems like kind of a, I don't know, hypocritical is the right word thing to be like, oh, well, now I really want to see it. But like, now I do want to see it. It's not like suddenly my interest in the movie in regards to just the movie in a vacuum has suddenly peaked. But given that it's JDF's last performance, I really did want to check it out. And admittedly, I think the costumes look really cool. Um, I always thought that was really neat. Um, and, you know, I think that JDF's passing kind of gave a lot of people perspective on things in regards to him and just everything. And I do appreciate what a passion he had for this, where it seemed like, you know, at the end, he had a lot of stuff to say about, like, well, I'm moving on from Power Rangers and I'm growing up or whatever. Uh, but I think a lot of that was, like, he really wanted to do some stuff with, like, the Green Ranger movie and all that, and Hasbro just didn't want to work with them. So he really just did his own thing that was obviously inspired by that, and I do have respect for the passion he had for bringing a version of uh, these type of stories to us. And so I, I am going to see it, and I will probably review it when it comes out. If they do any more trailers, maybe I'll talk about it. But I just wanted to give my perspective on the movie, so I will be checking it out now because of this. However, I will say, you know, setting aside all of the real-world stuff about JDF's passing, um, having no interest in this movie, as soon as I found out John Diggle in this movie, it's an automatic 10 out of 10. I'm in the front row on the first day. I did not know that. Because again, I wasn't paying attention to this, other than seeing the suits a couple times and a couple shots of like him with um, Time Force Red's actor, whose name I can't remember, and he was also in like a hair trimming commercial I recently saw. What the, what's that dude's name? Doesn't matter. Regardless, I had like I wasn't paying attention, so I had no idea that David Ramsey was in this movie. But in regards to the trailer itself, you know, the effects and everything of it look a little cheaper. It looks much more like a sci-fi original movie, which I'm honestly okay with. I kind of sometimes love those cheapo sci-fi movies, like the Sharknado movies and stuff like that. However, part of the reason they are delaying this is apparently, you know, the movie's gotten a lot more extra support since JDF's passing, and they're taking time to do some reshoots and some touch-ups with, like, a, I think a million, said a million dollars worth of reshoots and, and touch-ups and stuff. So I don't think it's going to look, like, leagues better, like, but I think they'll, it'll look a little bit better. But I'm not necessarily going to judge that too harshly. I think it looks roughly how you'd expect. And like I said, I really like the suits. But it just kind of gives you a general layout of this conflict and the mythology and these two dragon characters fighting. And we get a look at the cast. You know, obviously JDF's there. Um, and it's kind of a handful of uh, ranger actors you'll recognize, like Time Force Red's actor. Um, uh, why am I forgetting all the ranger actors' names? Gia from Megaforce. Uh, Ciara Hana, there we go. Some actors I've never seen before, obviously. Um, my favorite part was seeing John Diggle in there. Uh, so you just kind of get a look at the cast of the characters and some of the stunts and the effects and stuff like that um, in this. And I could just kind of have a general outline for it. And it's going to be now coming out in 2024, like I said. Um, the original release date was, I think, later this year, and now it's going to come out early 2024. So, yeah, I am going to check this out as it's JDF's last performance. And from what I saw from the trailer, it looks like it'll be probably a fun time. It'll be really nice to see his last performance, to see this vision he wanted to uh, put out. And I'll be interested to see you know, kind of the way the rest of the cast all interact. I don't know if there's anybody else in there that I'm forgetting that was either in the trailer or that wasn't in the trailer that was announced from the Power Rangers cast, but I think it'll be an enjoyable time. And like I said, I will do a review of it when it comes out. We'll see if I cover any future trailers or stuff like that. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought of the trailer. Are you going to check out JDF's last project? Let me know in the comments as always. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell. See you in occasions for my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.